Yeah, my people, this is uh, on the top of the mountain. It was not easy climbing this mountain. And uh, I took my time to climb the mountain because I want to be at the peak of the mountain. Far away to the right, you can see smoke. There's a bush burning by the right of me. Then right in front of me, you can see granite company creating granite. I don't know which company this is, but you can see the tractors down there, and you can see far below down there, if I fall here, I can't survive. And far away is the Pape city, and up in the sky you see the birds. Question is, what life has taught me is, if you venerate anything, you create a monster. Because it means by implication, you are amplifying it and giving it energy to become greater than who you are. But I think you don't waste your energy because everything about life is energy. So why venerate what cannot make you attain what you ought to attain? I think it's even better to ignore and move forward. So, we have death spy and living spy. A death spy is a spy who is in your household. A spy that you eat together, it could be in your family or one of your circle of inner friends. They are the ones you should fear, not the ones far away. Because the ones far away cannot harm you. Why can't they harm you? They don't know your secret, they don't know the time and the hour you are going to move. But as I move, now, even as I step on the grasses, I can hear sounds. I can hear the rhythm and I can hear the cracking far away. So what I mean is that even when you are talking with somebody, what he says is just 3% of what he means. 67% is going to be hidden in his body language. 30% is going to be expressed in the tonality of what he's saying. So at the end of the day, you need to be very careful or that wise. People are masters in the art of deception because they will not really tell you what they mean. In most cases, they will tell you the opposite of what their hidden fears are. But it's not anything. Nobody can put his marks under your own marks. They always put their own marks ahead of your own because nobody can love you like you love yourself. Nobody can ever feel the way you feel. Nobody can know where the shoe pinches you. It is only you who stumbles. It's only you who hit your feet on the ground because you are in motion. You cannot stumble and fall unless you are moving. Unless you are moving, how can you fall? Then if you are not moving, along the way, don't you know you learn? Don't you know you get better from zero when you get to 100 if you start moving? If you want to eat an elephant, you don't eat it overnight. You begin to eat it gradually, and one day it will be gone. Anyway, learn from this.